Good morning guys. Just made myself a little protein cold brew coffee. I used my first form level one. My favorite is the caramel latte because it just honestly tastes so good. It's like basically like Starbucks, but like with like 15 grams of protein. By the way, the link will be down below for the protein. I did a detailed demo of how to do the protein cold brew in my what I eat in a day video. So make sure to check that out. Welcome back to another dental school vlog. It's been a while since I've done one just because I honestly feel like my schedule is so boring right now. But this weekend, I think I'm doing a little bit more. Right now it's about 10.30. I just really wanted to sleep in today because I just finished four exams this week. Actually five exams if you count my perio practical exam. So I was a little beat and last night I just watched like four episodes of Netflix maybe even more honestly just had some relaxing time and then today I just kind of wanted to sit in bed this morning but anyways I am reaching the final stretch of the worst semester ever I basically have two weeks left this week I only have one exam I guess kind of two exams because I have my operative practical exam on Monday which I have not practiced in three weeks because we can't go to sim lab so that was a side note though but I have one exam Friday and then I have six exams the week after and I'm behind on all of the lectures. I have not been able to keep up with the lectures. It's just not possible to watch lectures while I'm studying for basically one new exam every day. So my goal of today is to get organized, figure out which lectures I'm missing from each class, put together a little schedule for myself, how many lectures I need to watch each day to get ahead of things. So I'll be doing that. I'll have to download a lot of PowerPoints, figure out a lot of things, look at a lot of syllabi because I have not really been keeping up. I'm also just worried that I'm forgetting about things. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but it's just hard when you don't go to class every day. No one's there to remind you to do stuff. And I'm, I'm good at staying on top of things, but this semester is just something else. I also have to head to the post office today because uh, they refused to deliver packages to my door and then my mailbox was closed this week. So I think I'm missing a lot of packages and I might do a little mini grocery run and it might work out. So that's the plan. Gonna let Pinto out of his room. He has to eat in a separate room than Peach because Peach would eat all of his food because he's slow. Pinto. Yep, see, look. She goes right to clean up his bowl. Anyways, I'm gonna start getting organized, getting set up, and I'll check back in with you guys soon. Go play with your springs, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Go, go, go. <laughs> Throw it over to Peach. Sit, sit. Good boy. Pinto, good boy. So sometimes I just like to make little handwritten lists. This is on OneNote, just of like things I need to do, things I have to get done. So I wrote out all my finals. Um, I'm kind of gonna write out below like which lectures I have to finish for each one just so I can stay on track. But basically I need to download all the PowerPoints and then I need to watch them. And I'm gonna try to download all the PowerPoints today and then I'm obviously not gonna watch all of them by today, but at least I can sort of break down some sort of schedule to do that. We have seven finals in a week. All right, I'm still hard at work downloading all the PowerPoints. Not all of them are up yet because some of the lectures are actually for this week, which I didn't think about because usually I'm not downloading things like in advance because I've been a little behind this semester to be honest. It's 11.30 and I'm just not having breakfast, but I'm having my blueberry muffin protein oats. Um, lots of protein this morning, but I guess we're getting the day off to a good start. I just mixed a scoop of my blueberry muffin level one with some oats and some almond milk. It is so good, like, it literally smells so good. This is like my favorite breakfast ever. And I think it has almost 30 grams of protein with everything considered. So if you haven't tried protein oats, you're really missing out. And I like the level one because it's not grainy and it also makes it nice and thick. So it's not like watery because I do not like watery oats. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this, continue downloading the PowerPoints, and then I need to enter some people in my giveaway because today was the Buff Bunny launch. Everyone's sending me their screenshots using my code, which thank you so much for people who do use my code. It means a lot to me, so I'm gonna enter everyone in my giveaway, and yeah. Okay, so I downloaded all of the lectures I could and I made kind of like a little working schedule thing. These are all of the lectures I have to watch. Um, I'm just gonna like check them off. 
as I go and just looking at all of these, I'm a little overwhelmed, but that's okay. <laughs> it's around 12.30, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna take a little break, answer some emails, and then the post office says it closes at three today. Did not know it closed so early, so I really should go. I really don't wanna go, I hate the post office. Okay, so I just got through like 100 emails. Most of them were spam, but still. Now it's about 1.30 and I'm just gonna make a quick lunch. Um, I don't feel like eating a lot right now because I literally ate breakfast at like 11.30. So I'm not super hungry, but I just wanna eat something so my, so my eating schedule doesn't get too far behind. So I'm just having one of the Trader Joe's bean and rice burritos. They're just light. It's not much, but I'll have a snack later. So I just microwave it for like two minutes. And then I'm gonna try to get through a lecture or two. And then I'm gonna go to the post office around 2.30. Hopefully just go right before it closes. And then I made a gym appointment at three. My gym has been open for a couple weeks. I haven't posted much about it, even though everyone and their mother is going back to the gym. So it doesn't really seem like a big deal, but we are still in a pandemic. So I wear my mask to the gym and I'm actually lucky. My gym has this whole outdoor section and it's really hot in Vegas. So no one really goes outside. So not only do you get more like air circulation outside, it's, there's also just like no one out there. So I do feel safe working out outside. I sanitize all my stuff and I don't go for very long. So that's gonna be my plan. I'll show you the little outdoor section. It is really nice. Everyone around here has just kind of stopped wearing masks and everything, but I'm still wearing mine. I'm still being careful. So that's that. I'm gonna make my burrito and study a little bit. All right, so I am off to the post office and then the gym. My gym appointment's at three. We have to make appointments because there's a lower capacity at the gym. I have the new live shorts on. I absolutely love these. And then I have my Metcons. Usually I change into them, but the locker rooms are closed, so I can't really like change into shoes. And then I'm wearing this little top from Petula that I'll probably take off once I start working out. And then I have the Buff Bunny Allure Laser Brow, which is one of my favorites. So can I go to the post office? I really hope they have all my stuff and that there isn't a line because I hate the post office. All right, so I'm back from the gym in the post office. I literally got an email from my apartment complex saying like, go to the post office as soon as possible, you need to pick up your packages. And when I go there, they're like, oh, it's out for delivery back to your apartment. It was so hard for me to even motivate to go to the post office. And I literally went for nothing. I promise I'm not bitter about everything. I just, I just really hate the post office. But went to the gym, got my workout. I just love working out outside. There's like a nice little breeze. It's actually like perfect weather, honestly. There was like no one outside again. There were like a couple people behind me, but very minimal and I just wiped everything down with some rubbing alcohol as I got back, cause you know, never know where there are gonna be germs. I also picked up a little graduation card for Ian because he is technically graduating this weekend. He went to go back home and visit his mom because they wanted to watch the graduation ceremony together. So I think I'm gonna have a little post-workout shake. Normally I wouldn't wanna have this many scoops of protein today, but since I was lifting pretty heavy and I haven't in a while, my muscles are kind of shaky, so I wanna do some like, you know, post-workout recovery. All right, this is my little post-workout stack. I have my formula one, which is a more fast-absorbing way than my level one, which I had for breakfast. This one's in Magical Charms, so it tastes like the marshmallow part of Lucky Charms. It's really good. And then I'm also having Ignition, which is a simple carb, and having a simple carb after your workout can help replenish the glycogen in your muscles, and it just helps with muscle recovery. So I'm gonna have a scoop of the protein, and usually I just have half a scoop of this. A full scoop is kind of a lot. All right, I'm gonna drink this, take a shower, and then I'm basically gonna watch lectures for the rest of the day, I think.
All right, so I got through about three and a half lectures today. I'm on one right now and I'm honestly like so exhausted. Like I just don't even want to finish it. So I'm not going to. Hey guys, I think it's time for dinner. It's time for dinner, yeah. Oh, stretch. It is also time for my dinner. I am hungry. I am going to make myself some dinner, watch a little TV, and then I'm gonna do my nails because they are coming off. It's been about two and a half weeks, so. I just reheated some of the pesto chicken breast from Trader Joe's that I cooked yesterday. I just air fried up some of these like rainbow cauliflower that I also got at Trader Joe's and just some white rice. Watched a little TV, did the nails. I cut the nails a little bit shorter this week because I have a lab, but I did a little accent nail, exciting. But now I'm gonna get ready for bed, kinda do some dishes, scoop the cat litter, and I almost forgot my greens and reds, and I realized I forgot to take them like a couple times this week, which I really try not to do. Um, and of course, I start like sneezing a little bit. I never know if it's related, but I swear, but I don't think it always happens when I stop taking them, so mix them up take them before bed i'm just having like minimal liquid so i can like you know down them quickly but yeah my camera's gonna die so i will see you guys in the morning Good morning guys, it is Sunday. I had these plans of waking up early, you know, doing a lecture, filming a video, getting all the stuff done, and I just was too overwhelmed with work. I just didn't really do any of it. It's hard, it's hard to wanna to focus on filming a video right now when I just have so much to do. So I'm gonna maybe film one on Tuesday because I have to get ready anyway, but I'm not gonna like put pressure on myself. 95% of the year I put out vi videos very regularly. And then there's, you know, a couple weeks around finals and tough semesters like this where I just have to take a little bit of a break. But I woke up today somewhat motivated and I actually did like a lot of cleaning. Like this area has not been cleaned in quite a while. So I feel good, things are put away, things are organized. Ready to do a day of lectures. I'm just gonna make another one of my protein cold brews. I have a little leftover. I did something different with my cold brew this time. I put in like a lot more coffee grounds and I think it's like a lot more concentrated, which is why I'm just having like the little glass. Before I had the big glass, it was very watery. So that's what we're doing. I need to go to the grocery store soon. I'm gonna do like a decent amount of milk. And instead of caramel latte, I'm gonna do pumpkin spice today. I recommend adding as much flavor as you want. It's never gonna taste like protein because this protein just like doesn't have that proteiny gross taste. But if you don't want it super sweet, I wouldn't add a lot. The pumpkin spice is nice because it's not actually super sweet. The caramel latte is pretty sweet. I think this is gonna be way too much liquid. All right. <laughs> That is full to the brim. Hey, ah. well, that actually turned out quite frothy and foamy, so. Totally random, but my Netflix app opened because I was watching a little bit of Netflix in bed and How to Get Away with Murder has a new season. That show is so addicting, I love it. Hello, it is I, editing Kath. I actually never ended up finishing the vlog because long story short, probably TMI, I switched birth controls, not intentionally, but it's a long story. It just totally messed with me. Like my cognitive function was so low. I literally couldn't even talk into the camera and actually say anything. And I was exhausted for an entire week until I figured out what the issue was. So I actually did not do very many lectures at all that day because I couldn't focus. But yeah, I'm from the future now in terms of the video and I just finished finals and I'm done. And it feels good to be done. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you want more vlogs coming up. I do have some exciting videos coming up. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.